Hello, can you hear me? Hi, Karen. Always present, always in class. That's awesome. <laughs> always present. Yes. Robert? You know, uh -huh. uh, yeah, I've been, I looked for two months for uh, to take English classes mm -hmm. until I found English Corporativo. Okay. So, I don't know. so you have to say I had, been, I had been looking. It's in the past. Past. I had been looking. Mm -hmm. I had been looking for a place until I found this one. That's why you try to take advantage of it, right? Yes. <laughs> Just get out of it. Well, yeah, that's the way it should be. I mean, English is expensive. <laughs> it's very expensive. Yeah, it's getting more expensive by the day. Fatima, how's everything? Hello. It's okay. But I I have to ask for permission because tonight I am going to leave early the class because I have to do some activities from work. What time? You're not allowed. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Scared her. You scared her. <laughs> I I know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, what time do you have to leave? Forty minutes. Forty minutes. Okay. Yeah. So like ten minutes early. Uh, yeah, we're gonna finish like five minutes. Early. Twenty minutes. Early. All right. So the competing. I haven't been in class. Oh, no, oh, no problem. Hey, how was your day? What's new? Well, today was my day off. It was kind of good. Right, awesome. Fatima, you're busy with work? Yes, today was a busy one. Karen, what's new with you? Excuse me? What's new with you? She wouldn't understand that, I think. <laughs> What's new? Simple as that. What's new for me? Uh-huh. Uh, nothing, I guess. It's the same day, always and always. <laughs> same thing. All right. You, you know, when I asked, like, when, when I was in the United States and I used to work with an American guy, mm -hmm. I asked him, hey, what's new? Or, yeah, what's new? Or what's going on? And he told me, ah, you know, same shit, different day. <laughs> Come on, Robert. Come on. Sorry. Sorry, I sorry really, for the bad uh, You know, I really wanted, I really wanted to say that, but I don't think it was, <laughs> yeah. it was sorry, polite for, for, for me to say that. I, for, I forgot they were recording this, so I'm sorry. <laughs> the, the biggest issue is at the, the beginning of the class. Anyway, we're going to discuss some questions, guys. Um, did you finish the platform? You completed it? I yes. I have an answer wrong. One answer wrong. One? I, when I, I, I got... I got two, two, two wrong. You want to correct that right now? Yes, because I don't know what I'm, what I'm doing wrong. Wrong. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. Let's Let hold on. I just want to see the image before I lose it. Sometimes, mm -hmm. like sometimes. Mm -hmm. Like in the section we write. Read my something. In the section, we re rewrite the sentence, I guess. Okay, yep, we're going to check on it. Hold on. Oh, wow. um, the question. What section are you having issues with, Fatima? Mm, give me a second, because I... 
What about you, Karen? What system is it? Uh, B, complete the conversation number two. We are in the midterm. All right. You too, Fatima? Is that the midterm? Let's rewrite the sentence. Let me see. Probably. The third. The third. What letter is it? It's the five. The letter C. Okay. The third sentence. Take off your shoes here. Are you now now? Or you're you are now something like that. You I I write you are allowed allowed to take off your shoes here. But it says that is incorrect. Okay. So you both finished. So we have them. <clears throat> what about this one? Did everybody answer this one? Reading exercise? Yes. You did? That's, I don't remember having that one. Yeah, no worries. We haven't. Oh, yes, I do. But you guys have finished. Hold on. Let me check with JC. JC, have you finished the, the midterm? The final exam? I don't hear you, by the way. Yes. I did. Yeah. Okay. And did you have any issues? Mm, let me see. All right, letter B. What? Karen, where did you need help? <clears throat> yes, number two. Mm -hmm. I, in this part, I have a problem in number two. Number two uh -huh. is you are uh -huh. not allowed to uh, uh -huh. i i that. put that but the platform is is wrong is, is wrong uh-huh you need to write yes, a paper yes. right, like that teacher wrote it <laughs> yes you have to to write you are not allowed Se separate separate uh, separate how do you say? Yes. Without, yes. without the contraction, yes. Separate. I, I. You are not allowed to. Allowed uh, to. Yes, right? yes. Uh huh. It's correct. You are not allowed to. Allowed to. Okay. What other exercises do you have issues with? In the letter C. Letter C. The, third. the third sentence. Uh-huh, <laughs> the same. <laughs> third sentence. JC, what do you have for the third sentence? I have the And this part, I have a problem at the old question. Oh, all of them. <laughs> Roberto is texting, so I had to mute him. <laughs> that was loud, Roberto, sorry. Uh-huh, so number three. And let's sorry. try it. You are... You are... Uh -huh. Allowed. Uh, it could be affirmative, it could be negative. You're allowed. What else? You are allowed to take off, off your shoes here. Your shoes here, uh huh? You are allowed. Let's you see are if not. it's negative. It could be negative. I, I try Maybe with the contraction. Let me try without the period. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> okay, so I give up. I'm gonna show the answer. You're allowed to take off You're your shoes. Hmm? You are correct. And you are allowed. Ah, there is not a word here. Uh -huh, <laughs> right? I know. No, you it. So I know it. <laughs> you see? Well, it's okay. I have the answers. Very good. What else? Yes, now it's. <laughs> Great. Any, anything yes, else? That's all. 
No, for me, no. No. Okay, what about the topics we worked on? Do you have any questions about them? Previous topics? Mm -hmm. Let me go to the menu section. So you can tell me we can reinforce something tonight. Otherwise, we're just going to practice. Not just, I, but... I want, mm -hmm. I want to know how do you say, because we are... are um, learning about the will have, the should have, mm -hmm. uh, and if you want to say, uh, I'm going to say in Spanish, uh, nunca hubiera hecho eso. Mm -hmm. How do you say that? Nora? How do you say it? Somebody answer. Uh -huh. I think you can answer, but let's try it. I will, I wouldn't never have Wait. Yeah, I will. I never. I will never have done that before. Or yeah, I will never have done. I will never have done. Mm -hmm. And you, you could say I wouldn't have done. Yes, but it it doesn't mean no. Yeah, you can say it that. It means no hubiera hecho eso. You would say, I would not, or I wouldn't have done that. So here, have done that. I would have never done that. I would have, I would never have done that. I would not have done that. I wouldn't have done that. And so on. And if you want to say, I don't know if it's, if it is correct, if I say, I will never imagine that. Mm, it depends. No. It is okay, but that is... All right. It's okay, but that means another thing. It, it means, yo no haría eso. It doesn't mean, yo no hubiera hecho eso. It's a different thing. Mm -hmm. It's okay, but it's... Mm -hmm. Is that what you mean? Um... I, I, I like want to hypothetical. Uh -huh. Yes, I want to answer a question when someone tells you something that you will never imagine. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, and imagine like a verb. I don't know if you can oh, say that. that. Yeah, totally. Any or you realize. Oh, okay. no, any verb I would have never realized. I would have never imagined. I would mm -hmm. have. Okay. If this is more appropriate than the other structure that I'm used that I'm used to using. I would never have imagined. Yep. Okay. Um, any other questions, guys? I'm gonna go section by section in case you want me to reinforce something or you have doubts. Okay. Section one. Here are all the topics. Take a look. Let me know. Passive voice. How was passive voice? Was it clear? In the present. In the past. Was it clear? All right, I'm gonna go to section two. Noe, welcome, can you hear us? Thank you. All right, Good evening. what about section two? Is there any topic you would want um, reinforcement you would like me to elaborate on? No? No. Great. Probably none of them. <laughs> right, three, it was the midterm, but we also had um, what's plain particles of adjectives, opinions, how did you like it, relative clauses, participants, and as adjectives, adjectives was the uh, with. ING and ED sound. Mm -hmm. yes. No, ING versus ED. Was that clear? Yeah. 
one causes it, the other one receives it. That one that causes is the ED. No, the ING. Uh huh, ING. Mm -hmm. The one that receives it is ED. ED. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Let's see. Section four. We studied a lot of things, guys. Right. Okay. Feelings and gestures. Do you remember that? How was it? Like this? This? Yes. Scratch your like, hair. Or like. <laughs> ah, twirl your hair. Hair. <laughs> what was that one? It means. <laughs> Roll your eyes. <laughs> My favorite one. <laughs> it's useful. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty useful. Right, section five. Mm, second conditional. And on real conditional sentences with its clauses. Past modals. <clears throat> okay, so no questions. Are you sure? I, I don't like it, that tone. <laughs> you don't like what, I'm sorry? Your tone, I imagine that you are going to say, so sure is the exam. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I'm gonna send you some questions. <laughs> no, no, but you finished the exam, didn't you? No, eh, have you finished it? Yes, I do. You finished, all right. Now we're going to discuss some questions uh, based on this. So that's what I wanted to say. For instance, on real second conditional. Okay. You can have, we're going to practice second conditional for a little bit and then general topics to improve your fluency. All right. That's what we're going to do. So let me make small groups one group of three, a group of four. Uh, that will be Karen and Noe. Roberto, JC, and Fatima. Okay, check the questions on WhatsApp right now, please, and accept the invitation or the invite. We're going to discuss with second conditional. Gary, next to the invite, please. Are we having one week off? Uh, yes. <laughs> one week yeah. to, to rest. Most likely. One week off after that. After today. Okay. Yay. Okay. Okay. Uh, if you could have any superpower, what would it be? This is. Mm. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> and you, if you could have any superpower, what would it be? No, compared with, with you, the mind is selfish. <laughs> so selfish. If I could have any mine superpower. Is mine, selfish. mine is selfish. Ah, well, mine is selfish. If I could have any superpower, it will be a superpower that the. Disap disappear. Ah, okay. It make make you invisible. Ah, okay. <laughs> Good. What would you do 
is you could speak English per perfectly. Wow. Oh, perfectly. Try to say yes, both, all right? Say, if I could speak English perfectly, I would try to use both. It's not the natural way of answering questions, but I want you to practice so it sticks in your mind, all right? Yes. Um, I. Okay. If I could speak English perfectly, I would see all the movies without sub Titles. subtitles. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to see, uh, I will sing all the songs that I like. It. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, but it's very nice. Uh-huh, it's funny. Yeah, I like, I like it. <laughs> Uh, what would you do if you could speak English perfectly? Um, um, I would like to apply to an immigration program. Mm, Maybe to London kind of program? Or... Sorry? What kind of program did you say? Ah, um, I don't know a kind of of immigration program. Ah, okay. Because they, the the first um, the first skill they want is uh, speak English perfectly. And where 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 country would you like to go? Um, England or Canada. Yeah, one of the main requirements is to speak the language. That's right. Yeah, for um, uh, at at least if they say uh, uh, you're not allow, uh, okay, you can understand <laughs> perfectly. You was <won't> reject. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. And you, uh, Karen. Uh, I would like, I would like to have a, a good job in a, in a multinational company. Yes, in, in, in LinkedIn network. You uh, can find a, 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 a lot of jobs in, in English. They require a bilingual person. Bilingual. I, I, I apply, I apply uh, two times to, to this kind of job. But my English, uh, they told me was wasn't enough to take the the job. Wasn't so good enough. That, uh, wasn't good enough. So that's yeah. the reason that I look for for yeah. English classes. Yes, yeah. it's terrible. Um, yes. If you won the lottery, what would you buy? Mm. What would I buy? Let me see. First of all, a house. A big would you house. Buy a house. A big house in a nice place. Ah, uh, you uses her imagination. Uh, my <laughs> my dream car. My dream car is uh I wouldn't. I wouldn't like. Okay. Because it's there mm. will there wouldn't um no it wouldn't have nothing. It wouldn't oh, have anything. 
it wouldn't anything. have anything. So I am going, I will have to start all, make all the cleaning now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You have to start what, I'm sorry? Sorry? All right. You will have to start what, Fatima? Uh, I will have to to begin. I, I don't know what to say. <clears throat> to start all all the things to create all the things. The house. Begin to the zero. The, yes. Be, uh -huh. No, you can say I will have to start over. Start I over. will have ah uh, over. Uh -huh. I will have to start over. It's like volver a empezar. Volver a empezar. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I'll start over here. Yeah. I'll be here if you have questions. And how do you I'll say, say uh, uh -huh. what JC said? Eh, empezar de cero? Eh, start over. It's yeah. the same. Uh, okay. yeah. the same. But if you want to say, I will have to, to um, start from zero. But yeah, start over is better. Okay. Thanks. Where would you like to go? Is you want a free planet, plan plane ticket? Plane, plane ticket. Plane ticket. What is plane, plane ticket? What is the ticket? Oh, well, the plane ticket is the one you need to fly. To take ah, a flying ticket. Yep. Where would you like to go? Ah. Uh -huh. uh. Hmm. If I want a free plane ticket, I would like to go to, to um, Disney World with my family. Okay. Uh, if I want a free plane ticket, I would like to visit it. Um, the Pasqua Island or the Pasqua Island. Land Island. 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 Where where is that? Uh, where uh, it's the near continent? Uh, uh, no, it, it's a uh, uh, front to Chile in the Ocean Pacific. In the Pacific okay. Ocean. The Pacific Ocean. And near to the Chile yeah. for for around, some around nowhere. Around, <laughs> around. Uh, okay. If you could have one futuristic futuristic, yeah. Futuristic device, futuristic what would it be? Futuristic device would you it be? Oh, uh, I, 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 I know, I know. I, if I could have one touristic device, I, um, I would like to have a flying car. A what? Flying car. Ah, flying car. To avoid, car. to avoid the trap. I no, love okay. it. Yes. <laughs> You see a movie, Back to the Future. Ah, yes. <laughs> but in the the movie Minority Report, I think that ah yeah, there are vehicles like that. Vehicles, <laughs> vehicles. Sorry. So, if I could have one footwisted plane ticket, plane ticket. Plane ticket. Mm, I will try to go to Machu Picchu. <gasps> yes, the same. <laughs> yes, it's, it's um, like a dream for me. Last year, last year, I said that this year I would like to go to Machu Picchu with, but now I think I'm going to postpone or to delay. 
both. Postpone. Both. To postpone. Or you can say put off instead of postpone. What? Put off? Yes. P-U-T-O-F-F. -F. Okay. If you could have one futuristic device, what would it be? A futuristic device. Uh, I would like the um, um an electric car. Electric car. Yeah. Like um um a Tesla. A Tesla car. <laughs> Are you a fan of Tesla? Mm, it seems very interest interesting cars. Uh -huh, but it's, it's I like a very I not sure. Sorry? It seems like a very interesting car. Yes, I but I think uh, are uh, very expensive. Okay. Yeah. Yes. So. And you, Karen? Maybe a device to read the mind? What? A uh, device I would like, I would like to have uh, ah, a, a device. A device to read to read minds. Ah, okay. Well, if we talk about um, a, a devices and not real, I would like to have a a device to to teletransport to teletransport. <laughs> Uh-huh. <laughs> but how do yes. you say teletransformar in English? Teletransportar. Uh-huh. No, teletransportar. Yeah, that's teletransport. 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 Yep. Yes. Transport. Yes. Uh, so I could uh, visit my daughter in Guatemala. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> Yeah, that would yes. be nice. Yes. <laughs> okay, if you could learn one skill, what will it be? Hold on, I'm gonna have you work with different people. Hold on. Okay. So, how is that fluency, uh, <laughs> fluency practice going? I'm the one who's not fluent today. <laughs> How's that fluency practice tonight? <laughs> Effective? Yeah, yeah, we're gonna, this time we're gonna talk about a topic, okay? I'm gonna give you three topics to talk about with different people. Choose one, okay? I'm gonna read it for you. Um, give me one second. All right. First option is talking about customs. Okay, that's one option, customs. The other one is friendship. And the third one is meeting new people. Which one would you like to talk about? One more time, meeting new people, costumes, or friendship. Friendship. Uh -huh. All right, Fatima says friendship. What else? Who else? What do you say, guys? Friendship. Meeting new people. Roberto says meeting new people. Uh huh. <laughs> Noé? Eh? I don't know. I yes, meeting new people it sounds 
Interesting. Uh, very interesting. Okay. Uh, Karen, meeting new people, customs around the world or in your country, friendship. Uh, I said friendship. You say friendship, okay. Uh, JC? Uh, I think uh, meeting new people. <laughs> All so right. meeting new made... people won. No, it didn't win. Look, but ah, you know, Karen, you're gonna okay. talk about friendship. <laughs> JC, no, eh, the boys are gonna talk about meeting new people. Ah, good luck, boys. Good luck. All right, hold on. So let me move Roberto. Boys and girls. That's, that's cool. All right, I'm gonna send to two topics. Okay, so choose the one you you picked. Right, accept it and let me send it to you. I'm gonna send both. Accept the invitation um, and take a look. Now we need to talk about meeting new people. Yep, I sent it right now. Okay, guys, do you know funny pickup lines? Funny pickup lines? What do you mean? <laughs> you don't know what pickup lines are? It's part of the question. Nope. Yes. Oh, you yes. know, Jose Roberto? <laughs> do you know any funny pickup lines? No. No, I, okay, I know what the point. word pickup line means, but. I'm going to give you a pickup line. Okay, but you have to research and tell me later because that one's funny. I like this topic, so I'm here for a second <laughs> to talk about this. <laughs> okay, for example, there's one that says, do you have a map? And you say, no, why? What? Do you have a map? M-A-A-P? Yes. Map? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh, okay. okay. No, why? Oh, because I got lost in your eyes. Oh. <laughs> uh, that's wow. a pickup line. <laughs> you liked it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's mine. I was just that was watching a good that. One. Uh -huh, I was just watching that l last night. Let me see. There was another one. Um, you like that sounds like from like Family Guy or <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> no, no, no. I was just watching a a girl using pickup lines last night for some reason. Okay, there was another one that uh, goes like. Um, uh, could you could you call the police? And he says he goes, "Why, right? Because I'm about to steal you <laughs> or something like that." <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try to think of more, but you can research. All right, I let you speak. Let me check on the girls. Okay. Um, do you like meeting new people? Why or why not? Is that part of the first questions? Your friendship. Pick well. Uh, you change topics. No. The first oh, two I'm images. sorry. No, I, I am. <laughs> the first two images. Well, yes. Uh, no, no. Four and five are. Sorry, I, I picked up the friendship right here. <laughs> uh huh. Do you prefer to have many friends yes. or just people that you are close to? What are the benefits? Mm -hmm. It's of having many, many friends than 
Okay. What about you, JC? Yes. Repeat the, the, the question. The question, please. <laughs> do you do you like meeting new people? Why or why not? Yes, I like a new I know a new people. Meeting. Okay, why? Because I ha I like to have a, a, a lot of friends. Okay, good. So do I, I like meeting new people. Okay. Because I like, like to have me and learn new experience. Because I think you learn new experience when you meet new people. Okay. Next question says, what are some things that you usually talk about when you meet a new person? Uh, uh, repeat, please. Uh, what are some things that you usually talk about when you meet a new person? Um, maybe if the new if the person is um, difficult hmm. describe your best friend okay. sorry Kat. Karen, I, I have uh, to leave Josie. Okay. No problem. Thank yeah, you. it's almost time, right? Yeah. I'm going to bring in um, somebody to talk with Karen. Karen, give me one second. Let me ask one of the guys. Hold on. Sorry, Karen. <laughs> no, don't worry. Oh, it's okay. Goodbye. Hey, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Okay, for the last class. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever thing Sorry, they, whatever other thing they use. Ah, <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Not you, right-handed. No. <laughs> Sorry, no. guys. One second. One second. Uh, can somebody practice with Fatima with uh, Karen? Okay, me. All right, Roberto's no gonna problem. practice with Karen. Yeah, thank you. Because Fatima had to leave early, remember? So, thank you. The two of you guys, you can continue. Karen? Hi. Okay, Robert, so with you. you volunteered. Uh -huh. Thank you. I like friendship also, that's why. Great. Friendship. Okay. So you you were saying or where do you guys left off? Uh describe your best friend. He also, you're using the, the phrase however, Robert. So, it, where did you guys leave off in this case? Did, because you're using did. Say that again. Sorry, because you're using did. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I said left off. Yeah, where did, yeah. Okay. Describe my best friend. Well, she's, she's tall, she's white, not well, not that white, but she lives in the United States, she's funny, sometimes she's, she's shy. Mm -hmm. um, you miss her? Yeah, what I mean? You miss her? Yeah, a little bit. Mm -hmm. Cause like, yeah, like every time, every time I got got out from work, I always went to her house to to be visit her and visit her her mom also. 
Yeah. So it sounds like a mystery. Yeah. You know, uh, my best friend in the United States was a um, an African American guy. I miss him a lot, and I haven't heard of him from him in years, like five years maybe. I don't know what happened. Well, like I, we totally lost the last the last time I spoke with her. Uh -huh. Like she told me that her grandma died. Oh no, she passed away. Early. Yeah, and and I told her, I'm sorry, I can't be there right yeah. now. Yeah, that's terrible. But can she can, but can she come to visit you here in El Salvador? Or oh, she's not right interested. Now, it's more it's easier uh, to. To to talk in a, in a, in the world or in a, in a job. Or what are you talking about? Sorry. Uh, we are talking about um, if you see a handsome boy or beautiful girl uh, that you want to get to know, what is the best way to approach them? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and what did you say, Noe? Um, I think uh, the a good uh, place to 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 make new relationship is in the world because uh, it's easier to to talk with the with the um, coworker, but. If you want to to present yourself in another kind of situation, for example, uh, for example, yourself. yes, in for example, in a bus or or a party, it's it's almost a sure. <laughs> They think it or, is harassment. Or, or, right? in a, or in a blind blind date. <laughs> Uh-huh. <laughs> yes, okay. but I think the blind date are very uh, um, are not common in these days. They're very common. <laughs> very common. Mm -hmm. Blind dates. Yep. I think blind dates are still considered the ones that um in, in which you meet the person after talking to them on the internet, if I'm not wrong. Those are blind dates. Oh, yes. Uh, the, in, the, in a platform to, to meet person. Mm. Yes, it's a... That's booming, actually. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Take note, guys. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what you have to do. <laughs> All right. <laughs> JC, after, hey, um, how do you feel speaking English? Do you feel like you have made some progress after three months? You mm. sound better to me. I don't know if it's me that I want to see it that way or if it is um, objective, but I feel like you're speaking better. I don't know. I, in my case, I, I to, to more, speak more. Mm -hmm. um, and understand uh, the vocabulary and the and the when they speak the, when they speak uh, other persons when other people speak other people speak uh -huh. in Noe, in your case you're making less mistakes yes mm -hmm. cuz if i hear a mistake i correct you if i don't correct you it's because you're not making mistakes so i'm not doing okay. that often as i used to in the past Okay, but I think my my weakness is uh, to hear mm -hmm. when other people uh, speak in English. Okay, I'm gonna send you a website. I feel like a doctor because <laughs> I wrote it here. <laughs> I'm writing the 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 prescription. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm gonna send you a link for you to practice listening. You can either choose from intermediate or advanced. It only takes you three or five minutes a day. 
<laughs> I'm like selling encyclopedias right now. It only takes you three minutes of your day, and I guarantee you it's going to be better. <laughs> You're going to improve. <laughs> so, okay. yeah. Open I the try to and try to do the exercises, okay? What is your uh, weakness, Casey, so that I can recommend something? Wits? No. Weakness. weakness. You have your strength and your weakness. So it's something you're not good at. It's like, mm, I need help with this. What is it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No, no problem. I'm going to send you the link to the group. Okay, no, I can check on Robert and Karen. We have a, a WhatsApp chat with my, mm -hmm. with my friends from from kindergarten to uh, 12th grade. Really? Yes, because we, we, we studied uh, in the same school and we graduated and we still have, we meet twice a year. That's nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, I want sorry, to say, like... Sorry, sorry. I have one yes. question. Um, is there something you feel like you need help with, something you need to improve, or your weakness? What do you think it is? So I can recommend something, if you would like, only if. My fluency. No, Roberto, you're pretty fluent. No, I'm not. Like, sometimes when I try to keep a long, long, long conversation, mm -hmm. I stutter. Okay, fluency. I'm going to take that. But I think that in your case, Roberto, grammar is more important than fluency. If I need to balance them. Yeah, but okay. you notice that way when sometimes, yes, no, my drama, grammar drama. I still is. Yeah, not fluency. I still. Uh, Karen? I need to, I need, no. I must need <laughs> to improve my fluency more than my grammar. Uh -huh. um, they go hand in hand anyway. But now yeah. I have I have a quick question now that you're saying that. Mm -hmm. I sometimes like I see videos that uh, you know on Facebook the the show app commercial. Mm -hmm. Right. Sometimes they are this guy saying like, "Oh, if you are a guy or you're learning English and you're you studying for it, like, 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 I recommend you to not focus on your grammar, like, just." Oh, uh, that is Kale, Kale something. The girl who's burning the grammar book. Don't listen to that guy. Don't do that. <laughs> but, no, I know. But I, like, I said, like, but grammar is important, like, learning like, before you speak it, like, fluent. Oh, yeah, they go hand in hand, I understand. So you have to be fluent with whatever you're learning at this, at this point. So since you don't have much time to practice in class, but you will have time today and tomorrow, because we'll, tonight and tomorrow, because we're already finished, um, this is what I recommend you because this is what I do with Portuguese, for example. I don't have anybody to practice with. So uh, you have, in, for example, an audiobook. You play it and you read it, but you have to imitate the person who's reading. So you have to read at the same time. Okay, you can simply read out loud, but if you're not sure of the pronunciation, then don't read. But if you're sure of it, read out loud. That's going to help you a lot. The thing is that you open okay. your mouth and you produce sound. If you don't do that, it's, you're never going to be fluent. So you either need a practice okay. partner, you need to get somebody to practice with. So Karen and Roberto, you could talk for 30 minutes a day, for example. But it's not enough. You need a lot of it. It's not enough. So maybe you can try to practice with people for 30 minutes, one hour a day. And on top of that, you can find any YouTube videos that are in English with subtitles or a series or movies. So what you have to do is repeat at the same time. Imitate them. That's the imitation technique. And that counts for your brain. That counts as speaking. 
Okay. Yep, you will see. Okay, try 30 minutes of repeating somebody and, and speaking as fast as they do with the same vocabulary, reading, being fast. And well, awesome. I always like to try, like, I, I don't understand, like, people that know English very well as me, not like saying my English perfectly, but mm -hmm. like, like, let me put this like, but they people really that's not, right. people that is not in the English level as me, like probably when they listen in English song, they, they can go along with it. Mm -hmm. And I try to do the same thing and I, like, I can't. Mm, I see. No, but try it even if you fail at it. So if you don't, if you don't keep the pace, you miss a word, go back and say it as fast as you can. Believe me, okay, nobody listens to me when I say this, but try 30 minutes and you will feel the huge difference. After repeating, you will be thinking in English that, that moment. So the more you do that, the better you're going to become and find somebody to practice with if you can. Otherwise, use videos or books. But the more you open your mouth to produce the sounds and to speak, uh, that counts for your brain as, as speaking, and that helps your fluency. Okay. Okay. All right, uh, it's time. So if you have any questions like this, let me know. Our English, I, I like, I don't know. It's advanced class. Uh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, they, they appear. <laughs> Sorry, we were talking. <laughs> okay, uh, Noe, I sent you the link. Uh, this is in case that you feel like you need to improve your listening. Use this website every day, okay? Either the intermediate one or the... You can also use this for practice, Karen. Tomorrow I'm going to show you how, okay? How to use this for listening and speaking, okay? And how to use videos for speaking, for fluency. I'm going to show you how to do that tomorrow, okay? Because I have to go. I have the other class right now. So, thank you guys. Please join tomorrow. We're going to give you tips. If you have tomorrow. questions, write them down. It's the last class. Ah, okay. Eight uh, class tomorrow. Yes, yes, yes. The last. Ah, okay. Thank you guys. Okay. Okay. Good night. 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 Good night.